Hello, hello. I was just watching Tracy doing her glasses over on Southern Crushed uh, Craftathon for Christmas, and um, they're adorable. And did you watch the Roost and Restore with the uh, orange slices and how to do that? And oh, I forget the other girl's names, and I absolutely loved her sugared fruits. So I hope you guys are watching the Craftathon. Um, the link, if you're not um, and you're just here because you're on my page, I the link for the Craftathon is up uh, in my um, like my you know, when I tell you what I'm doing. And so, yeah, go click on that and get in the group so you can see everything. Hey, hey, what do you say, Miss Penny? Good afternoon. I started to say good morning, but it's actually afternoon. So, um, ha hello, Violet. So I'm gonna get going because I don't want to um, drag this on too long. I can sit and chit chat all day, as you guys know that follow me. So hello, good girlfriends. It's nice to see you here. Um, welcome to my page. My name is Tammy Neff and you are following or you are watching me anyway, either in the craftathon or on my page called Tammy Loves Vintage and it's T-A-M-I. That's the only, it's the only glitch if you're looking for me. So what I'm making today is vintage, um, vintage uh, carolers hats. And here's the thing, when Melanie said, you know, do you wanna do the craftathon for Christmas? Um, I, I knew I wanted to do this project and Amazon had them and it was no big deal. Amazon doesn't have any now. <laughs> And that was like two months ago. Hey, Cheryl, thanks for sprinkling. I love you for that. Thank you so much. So these hats are, um, you can see inside what paper mache is just plain brown, okay? And then we did like a, I did like a practice video in case anything went wrong. I'd have something to send Melanie for today. So luckily I had two hats in stock. So in doing that, I realized how long it took me to just Mod Podge. And we all, we're crafting friends or we wouldn't be here, uh, but we all know how how to take a paintbrush, swipe on some Mod Podge, and put a piece of paper on it, wipe it off. So we got that. So I took vintage pages and did that very thing with this hat, okay? And I'm gonna give you measurements for a template. Since there are no hats on Amazon, I tried to figure a template. I didn't know how to get it to you, but when I'm all done here, I'm gonna give you those measurements. So while you're listening, run and grab a piece of paper. Hey, hey, Pamela, hello, hello. Hi, you guys, you found me on the Craftathon? Well, great, that's, that's what we're hoping for is that we find new friends. Oh, there's my Terry Reno, thank you guys for sprinkling I big hearts to every one of you that sprinkled thank you so much okay so we have our carolers hats I'll show you where to find them I've made been making these for about three years um, I've never had to make my own I've always been able to buy these so um, once you cover your hat let's embellish it a little bit um, and I I went ahead I pre I just wanted to be sure that I could show you as much as I could I just found a mix of old papers. Okay, there's all sorts. This is a food ration. This is um, sheet music. And pay attention to your music because see how, even though it's all music, see how different it is? So when you patch it together, like here's another piece down here, it's all very different. And I am all about vintage look. So let me put you down here where I can craft just a little, or you guys can see my craft more than me. Oh, more than me. <laughs> Um, okay, so I'm gonna Mod Podge, you know, different pieces here. We'll just keep it simple. Here's some handwriting, some old handwriting. Um, this was, that was interesting. I was reading the letter. Um, it was a military guy writing home to his family and it was just so sweet. So you just take your um, paper and rather than painting the surface, because I am leaving this very, um, very vintage. I don't really want the Mod Podge like shining. I knew I had one spot. I had a bad spot. So we got to make sure we cover that bad spot. So I just, I'm just mixing my papers here. So, okay. And then I don't seal it with Mod Podge over top. I don't want it shiny. And you know, even sometimes that matte has a little bit of shine to it. And so I don't want it shiny. So I'm wiping the Mod Podge off. I just threw my little paper across the room here. Let me I've done every one so far. I've been lucky. Melanie has had me in every craft-a-thon. I wish I would have written down how many uh, when she started. I should ask her that. I should ask her that, how many she's done. And um, I'm, I almost kind of forget the projects we've done. She's done several. And um, it's always an honor to be back. And I always get so many new friends, um, thanks to Melanie and this 
uh, fantastic idea that she had. So I'm very grateful to always um, have been able to be along for the ride with her. I'm one of those though that she has to hold my hand. I'm one that she'll say, you're on it such and such a time, but we have a different time zone. So I'm always like quadruple checking that I have it right because one time I had it wrong. <laughs> I, I missed it. So yeah, I'm, she always, I'm, I'm sure most of you girls are like, got your, got it together and you're super great. Well, I'm the high maintenance. There's always one, uh, every class I've ever given, every, everything, there's always one person that needs a little extra hand holding. I hate that it's me, but it's me. <laughs> good morning, hi friends, hi you guys. Just being honest, right? We're all good girlfriends. We can tell all the bad things about ourselves, but bless her heart, she puts up with me and I love her for it. Okay. So, let's see. I don't want to run out of time messing around with this. And I know it's not really about the time. I just, I want, there's other things I want to make sure you see. So, okay, this is, this is off of an old um, pharmaceutical uh, ledger of prescriptions. Oh, I did the wrong side, but that's still okay. <laughs> I did the wrong side. It was prettier on the other side. Can you, it's not super pretty, but it, wasn't their handwriting amazing? And I'm not ignoring your messages, you guys. As I'm um, going throughout my day today, I will go back and say hello and and thank you if you do the sprinkling and you know all of the things. If you have any questions or comments, you have any suggestions for me, maybe I'm doing something wrong, please tell me. I I, I mean I'm always game to hear whatever. This is a, a sugar, five pound sugar ration coupon. That was a, I had a whole uh, sheet. I had two, oh, two sheets maybe of these. So I've been putting these, we have like old paper packets that we have on our website. It's TammyLovesVintage.com. Um, and you can pick up old papers and we stick one of these. Um, we've got large packs and small packs, $10 and $25 worth. We've got, um, you know, I do a lot with home decor. So we get into that. Um, what a neat idea. Okay, see, I'm, I'm old, okay? My glasses are right here. I can't see. I went to the eye doctor and said, can you help me? I don't need to see far. I don't need to see close. I got both of those taken care of. I need to see an arms. <laughs> so he made me special glasses. They're done. I just haven't had time to go pick them up. So like Tracy, I was watching her and she's like sitting a million miles from her camera and she's like, oh, hi, Betty. Hi, but you know, Melissa. And I'm like, uh. <laughs> Oh, to be young again. Oh, to be young, right? Okay, so here we go. I'm going to leave it at this. I think this is great. Um, happy with that. Let's see if I'm on at 20. I forgot to figure my time off. Yeah, okay, I got it. Okay, so I have, I love old lace. So um, if you follow me, you guys, I'm very vintage. Um, I like rusty, crusty, but yet I like romantic and, you know, shabby-ish and um, cracky and chippy paint and all of that stuff. I love pulling out treasures from grandma's keepsake box in the basement or under the bed. And I don't know how many of you guys said, I have one of those. I'm going to go get it. I never thought it could be so pretty. That's what Tammy Loves Vintage is all about, is trying to get you guys to love your vintage items as well. Um, so I asked for a glue gun for Christmas from my kids. And um, I know that's like a big thing, but I'm gonna have to break down and get one before Christmas, I think. I'm not sure my glue gun's gonna make it. Okay, so I'm just gonna add this lace. Now I didn't pre-measure it. There is a like a hump of a band. If you make one, you won't have that, but there's like a bump. And the Mod Podge kind of, my other hats, oh, I guess I did have that bump. I just didn't see it. But um, I, I kind of thought I'm going to take advantage of that bump. And I'm going to do this hat a little different. And if you stick around, I'll show you all of the hats. They're all just a little bit different. I chose this lace because I thought it kind of had a crown look to it. And um, and yeah, I know I, I know I say I'm vintage and rusty crusty, but I also like a little bling every now and again. I'm just a mess, right? I'm just a mess. There's no rhyme, no reason to me. <laughs> couldn't Mod Podge the, oh, I could, but it wouldn't be as soft. I want it to be a little um, bendable and pliable and not sucked down. I, I like texture and, and all of that, so that's why I chose not to, but you totally could glue or Mod Podge it down, yes. That would be a yes. And I may have to go back and tack it here and there. But we'll see. We'll see. 
Okay, so I guess this is gonna become the front of my hat. I should have looked at the, the patches and stuff that I had, but that's fine. This will be the front of my hat because this is where my seam is. You would think this would be the back, but I'm gonna um, cover it up. So I have, um, oh, let's see what, right here. I have this old, it was a belt. It was someone's belt and there, I've cut off of it before, but there, like this, just, just, just a random thing. It was part of the belt and there was a buckle that would catch on this somehow, I don't even know. Um, I didn't try it, figure it out. I knew I wasn't gonna wear it, but, um, but I am gonna craft with it. So I'm going to lay that here as well. Because remember, I just said I like I like the mix of old and new. I love something um, uh, like shiny bright white, like ironstone plates or that shiny white, pretty white, and then putting rusty things on. You know, I love I love the mix. So it's just interesting to me. Oh, there is that thing. Oh well, we'll leave it. It's pretty. Um, but yeah, I like, I like mixing elements and things and, and being unique. That's the thing. That's the idea um, is just to be different. So here's my cutters. So these are just wire cutters, but they cut jewelry really well. So um, there we go. I was in a, a group with Tracy's Fancy. Tracy is a furniture painter. She's an amazing furniture painter. And she did these hats. And that was when I very first did it a few years ago. She did a Christmas thing. And, and so um, she introduced me to these hats. And I've loved them ever since. And then there's another girl, um, Studio MDAZ. And she, Debbie is her name. And she, her and her mother made great big hats. Like big, like she wore it hat. Um, that were like, um, uh, uh, what's that cat, not cat in the hat, but, uh, Alice in Wonderland, like that kind of a hat. So <laughs> they were really cool. So yeah, I thought that was really neat too. Um, so that's Studio MDAZ and the other is Tracy's Fancy. If you'd like to check those pages out. Um, okay. So now what I have, look at this collar. This was actually like the ladies often, I have lots of collars. I know I've sold a lot of them, but this is an old collar. And what I'm trying to do, let me, let me just show you the ones that I've made in the past and why I'm making this one a little bit different. So here's one that was just very plain and simple and I added muslin shreds. That's always what I've worked with when I do these hats. Yes, the Mad Hatter. I'm sorry, I'm not watching comments. I just wanna kinda, you know, keep going. Um, but this turned out really great and I just did muslin shred, okay? Kept it simple. I'm jazzing this one up for Melanie, okay? I've not done any of this quite this fancy. Here's the fanciest one I've ever done. Um, I did add the German glass glitter to the top. And then I added some clock faces and watch faces. I added the old pages just as before, um, a wooden uh, game piece and some old buttons. And this was always my favorite. This was a treetop on my smaller tree. Um, you can stuff these in your tree. Let me show you the one I made yesterday for practice for, um, for Melanie in case I messed up and needed a backup. I made this one and I made, I like this, how I dripped um, the glue, I actually was an accident and I'm like, dang, I like that. So then I went back and added more. So this was, so I didn't do the big long shreds because I thought how great to not only have the hat on the top of the tree, but to also push it in the tree. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then they have itty bitty, itty bitty ones, you guys. They have little ones like this and like this. So you do the same thing, only smaller version. Here's another, there's another, okay? So just so you get the idea where I'm going and how I'm being a little bit different, I've used pearls. I've got a couple of them hanging right there and I have one on my, I have this like a funny, I don't know what it is, some kind of finial thing. And I have another one hanging on top of that. I've set them on top of this lamp back here. I've had it there, yeah. I love my hats, okay? So there's a few more, but I just pulled some out that were on top of my tree decorating box because I haven't done them yet. Um, where am I from? I am in Zanesville, Ohio. I'm in Ohio. So, okay, here we go. I'm going to take this old 
you know, when you see these things, you're like, okay, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I'm gonna do something. I figured out what I'm gonna do today. I'm going to make a bow or sort of a, a, a look like, something that looks like a bow anyway. Um, you'll see, I'm gonna wad it up here. So I'm gonna glue that. What I'm trying to do is um, get it up high. So let's see, how do I wanna do that? Uh, I kinda wanna just wad it in here like that. Let me, let me show you why. If I put it here, you know, like that, it's just kind of expected, right? And then it just kind of stops and it's fine. But I want, and, and I'm gonna use this old pin. It was a beautiful, like I, it reminded me of a snowflake, but see how low, it's just, I don't know. You watch what I wanna do with it. I'll make sure I'm getting, okay, I got just a few minutes. So we're going to, um, I'm gonna fold it, I'm gonna take it between the glue, between the middle point, I'm gonna glue that, and then I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take this other half, so I cut it in half, and didn't cut it, but folded it. Take this other half, and I'm gonna go up like that. Okay, and hopefully I can remember what I just did, so I can do it on the other side. No, I got it, I got it. So I find in the center point between um, the, the glue and the edge, and I folded it over, and then I took this top, right here, or the left, the rest of it, and I put it on the top, and that's what I did. So then, now I've made it a little more finished, I think, I hope. So let's stick, let's stick our glue here. I'm gonna do a nice, generous, I'm being generous, because I don't want it to come off or anything. Okay, and I got the, nope, that was the back. <laughs> I got the front, where are you? Okay, so we're going in, we're going in. And there you go. So there is that. What a great collar. And how many of you are sad that I'm doing this and ruining it? But at the same time, I mean, I found it in an antique show stuffed in the bottom of a box. So really, I'm saving its life. <laughs> I'm bringing it back. Um, okay, now my glue points did not hit. So hang on a second here. I'm on the fabric, but I'm not on the hat. Okay, so there you go. All right, now E6000 is a great product but I don't use E6000 with cardboard, paper, fabric. You don't need it, just use your hot glue. It's a lot cheaper. E6000 is when you're doing metal to metal, um, when you're uh, um, doing like wood glue uh, for wood, you know, I would do wood glue, but I see sometimes people use an E6000, it's like, oh, it's a waste to just use our hot glue. So there's that, oh look, my little thing just ended up right at the perfect spot. So here we go. Now, I got just a few minutes. Let me give you really quick some measurements. I hope you guys like it. I'm seeing lots of hearts, yay. Thank you so much for that. Um, I'll answer all of you questions. No, I use, um, I would love to get with Totally Dazzled, but I just use all vintage. Pretty much everything I use, I find uh, at antique shows. They're rusty, crusty, you know, sometimes they have gems missing, but I love that look. This one just happens to be extra dazzling for some reason. So the top of the hat, write this down. I told you to get paper. Top of the hat is four and three quarter inches across, okay? Four and three quarter inches, because you guys might have to make your own. The bottom, found them on Amazon, type in uh, paper mache caroler's hat. If they're not available, then this is what you do. Seven inches outside the outside here to here, uh, four inches here to here. So that makes this about an inch and three quarters ish. And what this was, was a great pattern too, to lay my pages on and trace and cut out. And then this one's gonna be a little bit trickier because it's like a smile. See, it's a smile. So it's, fifth, it's uh, 15 inches to the widest dot, and it's 12 and, a quarter, or 12 and 3 quarters inches to the smallest. Uh, it goes like this. And then 15, or, or I'm sorry, 5 and a quarter tall. 15 at the, at the widest, 12 and 3 quarters, and then 5 and a quarter inches tall. When you wrap it around, the bottom is just going to meet, and the top is actually going to go over kind of over it, see how much will overlap. And, and the only way you're gonna know is to put glue on your bottom ring, get this set, and glue this in like that, okay? And then wherever the top goes, it goes. And hold it and let that dry, and then tack it right here. And then you'll be able to put your glue around the top and lay your top on. 
then you can trim it up whatever you need. So I did have some glitter I was gonna do, but I think I need to jump off and make room for the next gal. But all you literally, all you're gonna do is go around the edge with glitter, and then you're gonna take your glitter. I did a mix of gold, silver, and white, and then it was just gonna you know, tap it down in my little glitter tray and um, then tap it off and done. But it's beautiful just like this, and it's a beautiful caroler's hat, and I have to say it's probably the prettiest one I've ever made. Isn't it funny how you just get better and better? So, okay, thank you, Melanie, for having me. Welcome all of you to the Craftathon. I hope anyone that's watching on my page joins that little link at the top to watch everybody else. They're gonna be going all day long, and my time is up, and I will answer all of your comments. It's so nice to meet all of you good girlfriends, um, and I hope you come and follow me too. Have a great day. Bye-bye.